What is up you guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a full review on the Anastasia Subculture Palette. I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on this, so I'm actually kind of nervous to try this out. I'm also gonna be doing a full look with it. Don't know what look I'm gonna be doing yet, but we'll see what we end up with. There have been a lot of mixed reviews on this guy. Like some people have said it's the best eyeshadow palette they've ever used, and some people have said that this is just plain shit. So this could be interesting, but as always, I'm going to be as honest as possible with you guys. I did buy this myself, so I have no ties to Anastasia whatsoever, but hopefully you guys know that I am completely honest with every single review that I put up on my channel. Um, I'm going to be doing some full swatches, so finger swatches, brush swatches, and I'm going to try and use as many colours as I can on my eyes today. So if you guys want to hear my review, let's get to it. So I just want to quickly mention the Modern Renaissance palette again from Anastasia. This is literally like my favourite palette of all time. I love the formula of these shadows. Like they're super, super pigmented. That was just a tiny little swipe. If there's ever a time when I'm going away and I can only take one palette with me, then this is the one that I take with me all the time because I've got a lot of my kind of everyday neutral shades here and then I can kind of deepen it up and add a few like pops of colour or something if I want to as well. So just a little heads up. The Modern Renaissance is my absolute fave, so the subculture has some pretty big shoes to fill. As you can see, they've kept the design of the packaging really, really similar to the Modern Renaissance palette. So you've got this velvety texture, and inside you have all 14 shades. So you have a mixture of mattes and shimmers, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, when I first saw like the release of this palette, I thought that is just really boring, to be quite honest with you. I didn't really get it, but the more I saw it, and by the time it launched, like, the day it launched, I was literally waiting by my computer, refreshing the website over and over again because I suddenly fell in love with it and realised that I needed it in my collection. So those are the colours, you've got a lot of kind of cool, sort of earthy tones I guess you could say. You've got a few pops of yellow and you've got a lot of kind of like mossy green colours, a copper and you've got this electric almost lime green glittery shimmery shade here which I think is really really interesting. So obviously I haven't used this or anything like that but I did tap my finger in just one of the shades and I'm going to show you guys just how pigmented they are. So I'm literally tapping. I'm not rubbing. And you can just see there is so much pigment on my finger, literally just from tapping a shade. So again, like, colour just comes off from tapping. And if we just swipe it, like, it's absolutely insane pigment. So I'll just pop those two colours there for you guys. And again, you can just see they are super, super pigmented. I actually think this might be even more pigmented than the Modern Renaissance, which is still pretty insane. This actually feels a little bit more dry than the subculture, um, but as you can see again, Modern Renaissance is really pigmented, but like I said, I think the subculture is a bit more. Ah! Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and talk you guys through the colours, and then I'll do cutaways of the brush swatches and finger swatches. So the first shade is Cube, which is a shimmer, and this is actually a really iridescent shade, so it looks white in the pan, but when you swatch it, it has a lot of iridescence to it. We then have Dawn, which is a matte beige shade, which would work really well all over the lid. The next shade is Destiny, which is another matte. This is more of a khaki green shade. The next shade is Adorn, which is a shimmer, and this actually looks really, really foil when you swatch it. It's kind of like a bronzy copper shade. We then have All Star, which is another matte shade. This is just a neutral plum. We then have Mercury, which is a matte minky grey colour. The next shade is Axis, which is another matte, and it's quite a deep teal. On the second row, we have Roxy, which is a matte peach. The next shade is Electric, which is another shimmer, and this is like a lime green colour. We then have Fudge, which is a matte chocolate brown. Next is New Wave, which is quite a peachy orange matte shade. Next is the colour Untamed, which is a matte mossy green. We then have Edge, which is another matte colour, which is more of a mustard yellow. And then last we have Rowdy, which is a deep matte black currant. Just like the Modern Renaissance palette, the subculture does also come with a brush. Do not throw these away, they're actually really, really good. So on one side it's like a fluffy brush, you flip it over and you have more of a smudger side. So I'm definitely going to try and use this as much as possible for the look. But uh, without further ado, let's zoom you in. Woo! Oh, that's nice and close. Pretty sure you can see my moustache so that I haven't gotten rid of. You're welcome. Okay, so I have already primed my eyes and slightly set them in place just with my face powder. The primer that I used today was the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Now I'm going to go into the shade Dawn, which is like... Okay, yeah, you really do not need to swirl your brush in this. So I'm just applying that all over the lid just to kind of blank everything out. If you are fairer than me, this could actually work as a really good transition shade. I could probably get away with it as a transition if I did build it up a little bit. Next, I think I'm going to go in with New Wave and pop that right in the crease. You can see, just by tapping that, you really get a lot of pigment off there. So I'm going to put that right in the crease. This reminds me a lot of Makeup Geek's Chickadee, which I like using a lot. So even just tapping it, like this is blending out really, really nicely. Like, it's going a long way. 
So I saw one of the YouTuber called Alyssa Ashley, which if you haven't checked her channel out before, then she is fab. She swirled her brush around and admittedly, it does kind of go a little bit everywhere if you swirl your brush. You're gonna get a lot of pigment off of your brush there, as you can see, um, but you are gonna get quite a lot of fallout there. So if I, I do what she did and she kind of like dumped it out on her hand. So it's not too bad there, you might be able to see it just in the center of my hand there, um, but that is something to note. Tap, don't swirl. Next, I'm gonna go in with Edge, which is that mustard yellow, and I'm just gonna put that slightly above where I put the shade New Wave. Ooh, that's such a little pretty combo. Those three shades together, uh, what were they called? Uh, New Wave, Edge, and Dawn. I like. Okay, so now this is where things get interesting, because which color shall I use? I feel like I wanna use Axis on the outer corner, but I don't use that yet. How's about we go in with a little bit of Roxy? That is insane. I don't know what Norvina puts in these shadows, but I'm gonna put that. Okay, that's actually darker than I thought it was gonna be. That's fine, let's blend that out a bit. I thought it was gonna be quite like a pale peachy shade, but it does kind of come off a bit darker. I'm just putting that kind of in the front of my eye a little bit, but not right on the inner corner, because I do wanna highlight with that still. So I'm actually just gonna quickly highlight my inner corner just because I feel like that kind of helps me figure out what I wanna do. So I'm just using Rodeo Drive. And that'll kind of help me to blend in that bit out there as well. So now that I know what this color looks like, I'm actually gonna take it on the flat side of the brush and just kind of pack that over the centers a little bit more. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of Dawn, which is the lid shade that we used, and just kind of blend that over the top. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Untamed, I think, which is like the mossy, no I'm not. I'm a lion. I'm gonna go in with Destiny, which is more of like the khaki green. And I'm gonna put that just here for a second. I'm not gonna worry about blending it out too much just yet, but I just kind of wanna lay it down. This is fun. These aren't colors that I normally use, so this is actually a lot of fun for me. What will I do? Who knows? I'm then gonna take Roxy back on my brush just to kind of connect the two and blend that in. I'm just blending everything as I go because I don't know how much I wanna put on or if I wanna layer anything over the top. So I'm just kind of blending it all as I would normally. Like the blend of Anastasia eyeshadows are insane. You gotta give them that. They blend like a dream. Boring, I want some more color. So I'm gonna go in with Axis, I think. And I'm gonna chuck that right on the outer part of my eye, I think. Oh my God, when you like pack the color on, it's ridiculous. This is getting a little bit complicated now, like switching in between brushes. So I'm just gonna take a clean fluffy brush just to kind of blend out the edges. I mean, you can literally just like tap them onto each other and they just kind of blend. No problems. I actually really wanna pack on a lot of axis. Also, would just like to note, no fallout so far. I'm gonna kind of create like a little wing and then I'll blend that out again. And I'm actually gonna go back in with New Wave which is that kind of orangey color. So I'm then just gonna go in again with a bit of New Wave and I'm just gonna take that on a pencil brush. Really just cannot get over how insanely pigmented these are. And I'm gonna blend that down at the center of my lower lash line a little bit. So I'm now gonna go ahead and take a Dawn which is like this coppery shimmer color here and I'm gonna take the flat end of the brush and I'm gonna pop that on the center. Hmm. I feel like this would work better if it was wet maybe. Like if you want it to look properly foil but it's a bit more subtle on the lid. I'm actually gonna use like a baby wipe to kind of dampen my brush a bit I think. And we'll try it that way. Yeah, if you want more of a foiled effect, damp your brush a little bit. I'm then gonna take the color Roxy again and I'm gonna take the flat side of the brush and pop that more so on the inner corner. That is a very deceiving color. Like looking at that, I would think that's actually pretty boring, but I really like that when you pack it on. Shall I put a little bit of that super, super dark color Rowdy somewhere? I'm feeling like maybe on the outer part of my eye to really deepen that up. Yes, let's do that. Let's really kind of like smudge it into the lower lash line a bit. I'm actually gonna try and pack a little bit of a Dawn on my finger and see if we can make it look a bit more foiled that way. 
I'm actually going to lay down a little bit of edge on the inner corner. This could be a mistake, but it could be fine. And then I'm going to take electric, which is that shimmery lime green colour. And really pack that on top. The shadows do layer up really, really nicely. Oh yeah, you can start to see that. The shimmers don't really look like much when you kind of first put them on. But as you layer them, that's when they get like super pigmented like they are in the pan. I think I might do like a few little touch-ups or something, but I think that's that look done. So we use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten colours out of fourteen, I'd say that's pretty good going. I'm gonna pack a little bit more of Axis just on the outside because I love it so much. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some mascara. I'm just gonna be using the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll. It's just the waterproof one. And then for lashes today, I'm actually gonna be using some Lily Lashes, which I've never actually used before. These, I forget what these are called. They are the Delara Foam Ink Lashes. And these are, my ring just fell off my finger. These are massive. Like, my eye is not that big. I feel like it's almost a waste to cut these off that much. Woo! All right, let's chuck these on. All right, guys, so this is the finished look, and I fucking love this thing. Um, I think the colors are maybe not as wearable every day for me because I do love my warm toned shadows, but the next time I want some sort of like bluey or even like orangey sort of eye look, I'm going straight to this because this palette is incredible. The pigmentation is like the most, it's the most pigmented eyeshadow palette I think I've ever come across in my life. And I get why some people have said, you know, like it's too powdery and it's got a lot of kickback and stuff like that because you literally, you swirl your brush in it and you're gonna get a lot of product out. So do not swirl your brush in it and you are good to go. I think the colors are absolutely insane. All the colors are super, super pigmented. They are insane when you wet them. This palette, it, it may not, in all honesty, beat my modern renaissance because I've got a whole lot more of like wearable for me tones in this palette. Like I'd say pretty much every single one of them I would wear for like every day. Maybe just not like the pinks or something like that, but all of like the reds and oranges, I would 100% wear every single day. Realistically, will I wear like teal and green eyeshadow every single day of my life? Probably not, so I will still continue to take the modern renaissance around with me. The pigmentation of these shadows is almost too much because you literally just need to tap your brush in and you've still got loads of excess product that you don't actually need, so I get people's reasoning on that, but I'd rather have overly pigmented eyeshadows than nothing at all. Do not make the mistake of swirling your brush into it because this will happen. I'll do close-ups like you really just need to tap it and I literally mean tap your brush into this because just swirling that then like I could pretty much paint my entire arm that colour. Why did I just do that? To be honest with you guys, I was ready to rip this palette a new one after all the reviews that I've seen online. A lot of my favourite YouTubers weren't overly keen on it, but I think it is sick. Okay guys, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and above all, hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up because that really does help me out a lot. And also subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that's it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.